Um, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morris Federation Workshop. And today we have Owen Borman and Rimini Dick Carr, who will be teaching you ladies' pleasure or ladies of pleasure, field town in the style of field town. I'm handing straight over to Owen. Good morning, everyone. So, yes, this is Ladies Pleasure Field Town or Ladies of Pleasure Field Town. It's recorded under two different names, depending on who recorded it. So, Special Sharp recorded it as Ladies of Pleasure and other people record it as ladies' pleasure. So there's a bit of a confusion of what the name is. It's in a style of field town. So I'll dance the whole jig, and then I'll talk through the structure of the dance and everything in between. Okay. So this is ladies', ladies pleasure, field town. Jig follows a standard structure of all field sound jigs. Just going to grab a drink, continue warming up. <laughs> so that jig follows a standard field sound jig structure. So you've got one, once to yourself, foot up. Jig slows um, jig slows jig. The notation is down here if you want it. So you've got watch yourself, foot up, jig slows boot or pockets first, jig slows RTBs, jig. In the final jig, we replace the galley with four plane capers, but we'll come back to that later on. So the tune. Got A to A for your once yourself, A for a put up, B for a jig, C for the slows, and that carries on and repeats to the end of the dance. So there will be some notation on online, or we'll make some available after this um, session of just that ladies pleasure jig. But Thames Valley Morris men who are very good dance notation for all those different traditions that includes Field Town Ladies Pleasure. So, Ten Valley Morrisman is a good online resource for dance notation there. So, the once yourself, you've got one A, which is the same phrasing repeated, where you're literally just going to do a back step in the once yourself. Can everyone hear me okay? Is that everyone following it okay so far? Yep. So, once yourself, if women will play just the A. Just 
it's just a standard fill town back set. So the way I always do it is with fill town jigs, it's right footed. But so some people say I oh, should go back onto my right foot first. But for Claus Anton, I always do it's the leg that's doing the most movement. So for me, I'm going to be doing the right foot in front, back step, back step, feet get the jump. So that is literally how you start the dance. So it's once yourself, you've got the first A phrase, then it repeats itself, and then you do back step, back step, to get the jump. And then you just go straight into the foot up. So the foot up is two double steps, starting right footed, double step, double step, back step, back step, again the jump, again double step, double step, back step, back step, again the jump. So all together, the once to yourself and the foot up is two back steps, feet together jump, two double steps, two back steps, feet together jump, two double steps, feet together jump. So yeah, two, two double steps, two back steps, two double steps, and back step. If we do the one to yourself and the foot up, that's um, two A's or A phrases. more and then we'll take any questions. The same again. most um pill tent actually no let's start to lie the lazy pleasure is a bit unique because you've got the two double steps two back steps two double steps two back steps if you don't mind nightingale before that, that would normally be four du double steps two side steps and a back step the lady's pleasure is the anomaly because nightingale lumps pum budding princess royal all seem to have the same foot up and lady's pleasure is slightly different to all those it's very odd starting on the right foot. Not used to that. Okay. It's, yeah, it'll make more sense when it gets to the jig. So the next bit of this jig where you do a closed side step right, closed side step left. So because the jig and slow start on the right foot, I've always started on the right foot for the double steps. So, that's the once yourself in the foot up. The jig, which is the side step movement in jig. So in field town, that section itself is called a jig and it's part of a jig, so it's a bit confusing. So the jig section is two close, two closed side steps, but side step right, that's right foot, right hand across your body. Then close side step left, left hand, left foot over, over the body. One, two, three, pop, one, two, three, pop. So you leave your right foot in the air, do two hopple backs. So a hopple back is going out, kicking out behind you, trying not to kick anything behind you, 
So one, two, three, four. And down. That's a four hockle back. So four hockle back movements. Then you've got two double steps. Again, right foot lead. One, two. That leaves your right foot in the air, just do a galley right. So galley is on your, your rotating round while popping. In a jig, you're also rotating. So it's one, you're rotating while rotating your leg round towards you. Your hands are at balance, help the balance, and your foot. Is the left foot is in the air, rotating around clockwise, out towards your body and in. If you do it the other way, it will throw you off with all your mentions going out and it'll be very hard to rotate around to the right while your left is doing wrong, your foot's doing the wrong thing. So a jig. Two first five steps, one to the right, one to the left. Hockle backs, one, two, three, four. Two double steps. And then galley to get the jump. And that is the entire jig section. What I'll do is we'll get the um, half an A into a B, and I'll dance it, and everyone dances it again, and then we'll see if there's any questions. I'll dance it. So you can see it, and we'll repeat it where you dance it, and then we'll take any questions. too fast in the music or do you want to slow it down the music? Can you tell us a bit about the field town arms or are you going to do that later? Oh, we'll do it now. So, in the start with the back steps, that's the first thing you do in a dance. Hands are out, balance again. Back step, back step. When you do a feet together jump, the hands are coming up and out and back to balance. Back step, back step, keep together. So, this is how Clausentum do it. Other sides will vary, but Clausentum style is up and out because it kind of makes your panties flow a bit more. It kind of looks like these double arches of McDonald's. It's a big M, a very fast food orientated in Clausentum. And then that's up and out. In a double set, it's just up and down slowly. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three, pop. So together, back, step, back, step, three, together, up, up. And the slow side steps, it's you're coming, so if I'm having crossed over, you're coming up and down, so it's in a straight line. Up, up, and you can do that, step up. So the hand is coming up fast, so we thank you, flex up, sort of pulling it down slow, so it floats down. So that isn't coming across your body at all, it's just Going down the sides of your body, so one, two. And because it's a side step, your feet should be crossing over. 
So, and it's right, bow side step right, your left foot's coming behind, the other way, right foot's coming behind. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so we've done the once yourself, the foot up and the jig. We'll now try and do that all together. So that we do the once yourself, foot up and the jig. That's Back steps, double steps, back steps, double step, back steps, both side steps, both side steps, buckle backs, double steps, yeah. So that music wise, that's going to be four A's and a B, or two A's, sorry, four A's, both and a B. Give a jump so you're, you've landed both feet together. How was that for everyone putting it all together? Okay. Okay. Let's grab a quick drink. The next part of the dance is the first slow. So the first slow is four capers or beetle clashes. So a beetle crusher is right foot in front, so you go tap, crush, left, right, tap, crush, right, left. So it's right, 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 left, right, left, left, right, left on the feet. And it's definitely a tap to begin with, and then you'll turn all your weight onto it to jump up. The hand movements in beetle crushes, again, out the side of balance, tap, crush up and out, left, left, right, left. So, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. We've then got four plain capers, so that's just one, two, three. Well, you kind of have to cut off the last plank caper arm movement to get back to balance. So you go one, two, three, four, back to balance. So you then got two slows again. So it's two beetle crushes, four plank capers, two beetle crushes, four plank capers. And that is the slow movement. So one, two, Left, right, left, one, two, three, four, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, one, two, three, four. Your hands in the last bit of that can come up and you should be on your right foot. Just right foot in the air to then go into the jig. So any questions? On the slow, the two beetle crushes, four plane capers, two beetle crushes, four plane capers. No? Okay. So, what we'll do is same again. So, again, the C music is the same phrase repeated. So, what we'll do is I'll dance to slows. So everyone can see it, then we'll dance it together. So that will be a B, half a B, 
to get into the slows, and then it'll be C for music for the actual slow version. Questions? Is everyone okay with that? So, what we'll do now is quite, quite difficult to go from the jig into the slows. We'll do the jig into the slows together. So that is a slow slice step movement followed by beat crusher slows. We won't do tuck and once yourself because on that for ourselves. So we'll do it all together. So we're going to have do a jig. We're going to have a half an A to come into a jig, and we'll back step to start that off. You do the jig, and then you do the slow the beetle crushes. left to do really is the last slows. The last slows are upright capers or RTBs, right toe behind. So an RTB or flowers entum, so you've got two feet together, hands up, a balance again, right toe behind, together, jump, left foot out, back, together, Together, right. Hand movements, up, up. The hands are doing the same thing as it were in the beetle crushes. So it's out, up, and out. And that should leave the right foot in the air to then do four plane capers. One, Two, three, four, five foot in the air again, work tight behind, back, together, together. So one. Four plane capers. Again. Four plane capers. Any questions on the RTBs? Or should we do the same again? So we'll do half a B, then the C's, the half B of music to come in. What we'll do is, uh, I'll do a back step to come into it just because it's easier than doing a galley. Um, I'll do RTB, plain capers, RTB, plain capers. Do it myself first, you can watch it. And we'll do it again with you dancing it.
time with you, Dante, as well. Questions on any of the dance so far, or anything you want me to go over? Okay. So we've done the one to yourself, we've done the foot up, we've done the jig, beetle crushers, and it's a jig again, and RTBs, and you follow up with a final jig. So the only difference in the final jig, still in the first side steps. At the very end, instead of a galley and a feet together jump, we'll be doing four plane capers. That's the only real difference. But what we're doing now is we'll do a jig. Oops, put a jig in front of you. Do it now, We can do the whole thing. If everyone's ready to do the whole dance, that's once yourself, put up, jig, first load of beetle crosses, jig, second slow is RTBs, followed by third jig and plain capers to finish. What we'll do is if we want to dance up together, I'll call all the figures, then we'll break it down for what anyone else wants to do. The whole dance. So, in the final jig, playing capers are just quite floaty hands. I know I get called out on dance sounds, I don't do it, but it should be four playing capers and quite flowy. So, just under double steps. One, two, 
Any questions anyone has so far? Do people want to do it again? Well, okay, so there's no more new to learn. We'll do the same thing again. All I will call this time is this time. Everything else I won't call. We've got the notation here, so I shouldn't need to call it. But really, you're dancing out. Is any of you dancing? So it's not going to be called. You just have to remember how a dance goes. Sometimes you get a musician to nod, say this time, but don't even get that. So, whole dance again. Punch yourself, put up jig, boot across the jig, RTB's jig. Would anybody like Owen to go over some of the finer points when he's got his breath back? Because we're all at different levels. I've done field tan a lot in the past, but um, not everyone here has, I'm sure. I'm still interested in the arm. So there's always, there's a bit when you're just about to do the balancing one that you sort of go in and out. So you're doing this and then before you go there, you like do a cross, a cross arms thing, which is quite effective. I wasn't sure when to do it. Can you show that again, Lucinda? So, yeah. so when you're going between the up and down yeah. and the balancing arms, you sort of do a cross body thing to get to the balancing thing, which looked good, but I wasn't sure where to do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Normally, that normally it would only be in the feet together jump. I'm not sure why I did that then. Um, so. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So once you're in the plain papers, what I 
do instead of just kind of going straight out for balance, I kind of do a mini. Um, yeah, it looks good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, just that's something I've done and not really really done it. So it's plain capers. And you do that to get into place to give you balance, and it, it, that movement just gives it a bit more showy because your hand hankies. Of going up in front of your face with barely any effort. This should be one, two, three, four, and out. Take that Beatles. And then you go into your cheek. That transition between playing capers and the close side step in the jig yeah. I'm trying to rub my tummy and pat my head with my arms at that point you, mm -hmm. the way you did it just then you literally just they're both up and then you go like that I'm overcomplicating it aren't I no it's... so it's, I kind of even cut off that last bit one two three four and one so i can cut off i'm still doing playing capers with my feet i'm cutting off the last hand movement so yeah um when i walk through it i broke it down too far and realized i didn't have a momentum i normally do when i'm dancing so it's caper 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 up So the hands coming up on the anacrusis, doing the plain capers, one, two, three, four. They're only going up about waist level. And on the anacrusis, on the hop up into the, the side step, it's and one, two, three, two. Does that make a bit more sense? Yeah, cool, thank you. So it's a um, uh, walking through it, I, I introduce things that I'm not doing when I'm dancing. I just flow into it because I thought I would have it a bit slowed down. Any other hand movements? Um, I also do that crossover thing when I come into a jig. When I back step into it, I kind of go like that, cross my hands and back out. They're not doing the ends because I've got no momentum, it's just crossing over like that. And then the beach crushes, again it's up and out. Sometimes when you're dancing, if you do that movement, your hankies will get knotted above your head and you have to dance above your head for the rest of the jig. And that's not fun. Um, did we want to do the whole jig again? Or one more time. This time I won't even give you a uh, this time. Um, just so people know when it comes in. Owen, before we start, is it yeah. worth talking about the emphasis in the uh, beetle crushers when you go a bigger up on the third? Okay, beetle crushers. Right, tap, right, tap. So it's, it's definitely a tap. And when you're pressing down, when you're crushing, you're using your right leg to spring off to go left, right. And on the left foot, tap, putting all your weight onto your left foot. You're jumping off your left foot. That's what gives you the lift up. So you should go tap, one, tap. Yeah, it's knowing when to push up, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Mm. And you can see what I'm doing to give me better illusion of height. And I'm lifting up. Whatever foot I'm not lifting up on kind of curls underneath me. That looks like I'm jumping an extra foot higher when I'm not. It's just it gives you illusion. Sim um, similar, if you ever do Bampton, they're capers. 
stuff kind of makes fun of yourself and gives you the illusion of height, of height without much effort. So, beach crushers, tap. So, we hands as well in the beach crushers. You go up and out. Again, there's another thing that gives you the illusion of height, or a bit more showy. And actually, it's not much more effort. If you don't knock yourself doing the showing dances. Um, RTBs is a bit different because you're coming off two feet, back, together, together, up, back, together, together, out. If you've got um, a bit dangerous and you're not used to it, but in the RTBs, if you're Two footed, and you jump up, you try and lift up your toes if you're up to it. And again, lifting up your toes when you do the RTBs gives you the illusion of height because your toes aren't drooping down. But the dangerous part of that is if you're not used to it, you can land on your heels and it will jar your back. So, how you do that if you've got good, good use of your ankle muscles? So, that would be a um, back. There's sort of small things that make it a bit more showy, but makes it a bit more dangerous, especially on the RTBs. Do we try the whole dance again, or is there any other small things that people want to cover? We'll try the whole dance again then. I'll just pop myself in. <laughs> so, whole dance. There won't be any this time, but there will be two A phrases, and it's the one A phrase and a half, then you come into it, and then you've got two A phrases again for a push-up. Uh, ladies, pleasure, Phil Pell. Is everyone okay with that? The dance notation, um, the rest of the dance notation is, um, I found is Thames Valley Morris Men. That's, you just search Thames Valley Morris Men. They've got a 
document archive. So you click on that, go to Dark Slopes, go down to Build Town, and then it's the last jig in their rotation. Ten value are very good. They've got all the traditions that Ten value do. It seems Ten value do a lot of traditions. So you've got good notation there. It's, it's handy for anyone who hasn't got a black book. It's far easier to read. So, any further questions? I don't think anyone wants to do it again, do they? I don't know. Do you want to do it again? I haven't done it right yet. <laughs> <laughs> are we are we going to learn another one as well, or is it just that one? It was just that one. Oh. Just to, um, they expect it to be this quick. No, well, we're all very experienced, you see. So it does depend. Um, Owen has done a, the Nutting Girl on a instructional video. It's about twenty minutes long, and you can kind of replay the bits that you want to do. So that's worth a look at as well. If she's very similar, has the similar moves to this dance, just in a different combination. We'll see if we can find music from Nutting Girl. We'll try and do that. Rimini isn't the Morris musician. So it's, we'll need um, dots. Transposed. Yeah, transposed um, dots. I, I didn't catch the name of the the side who have the notation. I, Tem, I heard where it was down the page, but I haven't yet got the name of the side. Thames Valley Morris men. Thames Valley. Yes. Yeah, great, thanks. Yeah, I'll put it in the email. I forgot to put it in the... It's on the website, but I forgot to put it in the email. But I'll put it in the post-event email that comes out. Put a link to it. So, so yeah, ladies' pleasure is a bit different to us and girl. I'll have lumps of um, They're very good um, examples of fill town jigs um, where the foot up is slightly different. And um, Mimi's just trying to see if she can find music for nothing girl. Um, was Mimi's on a power there? She has to have a transposed one. Um, we can dance it again. Is, is there any particular places that people were having difficulty with, or just getting used to the dance? Um, Dance. I keep ending up on the wrong leg coming out of the RTBs, but that's just because I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm not stupid, Jen. I just forgot. Yeah, it's um. Have you danced Little Town before with an RSI before, Jen? Um, not masses. Um, and I've done so much more of other traditions that it just makes my brain hurt. Yeah, so it should, it should be um. Right toe behind, feet together, jump, kick out with the other foot, back, together, together, out. It's a fairly simple one to be, you know, other side will do, where you're kind of doing a switch, flip into it, but kind of, as Mike Charlie would say, land with two feet with one foot in the air. Definitely yeah. I think it's the opposite foot, Jen, the one you started, so it's because you've got Yeah, to... there's only two choices, I know. It's really because I'm a doof. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Aki, how are you getting on? You've been very quiet. You're all right there. And your lovely yellow hankies. <laughs> so we'll try again. Um, yeah, we'll go again. Oh, I'm watching the tennis at the same time, which is oh. a bit confusing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know it's a volley in there at some point, then, in your jig. <laughs> yes, uh, Nadal's down two sets. No spoilers. Sorry, sorry. It's very exciting. So, um, yeah, we, we can't find the uh, notes for nothing there. Um, not the addition one. Yeah. On YouTube. So we'll, 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 do this once. we'll do this once more and then we'll try and find it again. So we'll do Ladies of Pleasure, Phil Town, once more, and then we'll have a quick break and then we'll see if we can find an electronic copy of the dance. So ladies of Pleasure, Phil Town.
How was that for everyone? I know that was my worst drink so far, but hopefully everyone has some food. Yeah, got it that time. Thank you. No problems at practice won't cure. What was that? Sorry? Sandy, say that again for Owen. <laughs> Sorry, I said there's no problems that practice won't cure. <laughs> so bear with us, we're just going to try and get nothing else up. Are you looking for the dots or the played music? Dots are transposed dots. I, I, think. Can, I can play it without it being transposed if everyone's okay with that, if I can find it. But. I did write it out. Is this the right speed for a proper performance rather than an instructional? I would dance it. Are you saying it's too slow or too fast? Uh, I think it's a little bit too slow. Okay. Oh, I thought it was too fast, Nick. I think so. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Oh, it must be about right then. That's because I'm old and short. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't rise as high as I ought to. <laughs> yeah, I was also I struggling because I... Speeds, depending on what I'm dancing with. So, um, I'd say a, a ringside I dance with is slightly faster. Because generally that side is older. More, more experience. Um, Flores Ensum is um, all under 40, so we, we kind of go a bit slower, and there's two people who can jump a bit higher than me, so they dance even slower than me. So the next jig is a refresher of the Nutting Girl jig we did in lockdown 1.0 back in March 2020. March, April, or May? Early, early 2020, and that's the last time Remini played this tune. So, and that's the last time I danced with Remini that this time. So forgive us if we go a bit wrong. It's a small. And we're using off a very small. The goal of A to start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nothing girl build town. <laughs>
So, still the same structure. Punch yourself, put up, jig, beetle crushers, jig, RTVs, jig. Um, so, that, that jig is slightly different in the put up. You've got four side steps, no, four double steps, followed by close side step, close side step, back steps. That's a put up. Um, and the jig is a lot more complicated. So the jig is one, two. So it's close high step, open, close, open, close, close. Back, 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 same again. What is it? Wait a minute, I'm just remembering it. A question. Yeah, so it's long close side step. Yeah. Close, close, four four backs. One, two, three, four, four close. Close again. Got it. Section. Some dancers do the uh, the long side steps as open side steps, the short ones as close side steps. Is there a, a convention on that one? Yes. Yeah. I know that some people do a convention different in their long side steps and short side steps and close and open. Um, You're doing both of them as close side steps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's how I was originally taught it with Mad Jacks. So we're always taught uh, close. Um, I see. How Paul Denton do it, that was the case of Mad Jacks. And okay. see, um, I know that other side steps differently. It's whatever you're happy to do, or you normally do with your side. If your side normally does open or close in a normal field sound jigs, do what they normally do. Oh. Otherwise, it will look a bit different when they're on a down south. Right. The slows, you've got four slows. So beach crushers, four beach crushers, and we, we'll do a close side step, close side step. Back step, back step, feet together, jump, pull together, one, two, three, four, close side step, one, two, close step, feet together, jump. Same again with RTVs. The four RTVs. Two close side steps. Back steps. Anyone want to do any of the Break it down again, or did you want to try and do the whole dance? Sorry, mm -hmm. right, could you do the jig again, please? Yeah. 
back. Very tight steps. Bunk. Pose. Bunk. Pose again. Carry. So this one, again, it's quite nice to do it quite slowly. With all Phil Town jigs, including Ladies Pleasure and this one, you should theoretically be able to dance it on a two foot by two foot square or on top of a pub table. So you shouldn't be able to be travelling that much. It should be on the spot, even with a hockle back. It should be you're kicking out back into place. Um, I know it's not that showy if you've got a big stand, you've got space to travel, but traditionally field time is done on, a, on the spot. So if we do half an A, or do yeah, half an A into a B, and we'll just do a G of nothing yet. Um, the, the stepping might be a bit weird. Um, I think it's up to you how you normally do your closed side steps or open side steps. Revert back to that instead of trying to match me. It might be off putting trying to match me if it's not how you normally do it. What was the weird, the weird thing was I'm used to doing right, left, right, hop, left, right, left, hop. And then you had a lot of right, left, right, left, right, left in the middle there. Yeah. Out the hops. Try again with the music. Well, he's doing a long side step, long closed side step. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One. Oh, I don't know. How many it is? It is, it's meant to be a long size step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's just it, because you're not going to the side, it doesn't look like a side step. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's, it's yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. Back to centre. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. Buckles. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. Then you're back center, facing center. Close. Close. Gally. Um, Try and hold dance again. Is there any other questions after that? So, yeah, so we, once yourself is standard with back steps into it, then you've got a foot up, four double steps, followed by two closed side steps. It's just a uh, close, close, back steps. Then you've got a jig, long side step, long side step, short side step, short side step, cockle backs, long side step, long side step. Short side step, short side step. Gally, slows, four beetle crushes, two close side steps, back steps, jig again, slows with RTBs and jigs again, and catching off the last galley with four plain capers. Hold dance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well done, everybody. Queries or complaints? Did people find Nightingale? Well, ladies, I know we, Nightingale was a rush job, but do people prefer Nightingale or Ladies of Pleasure as a jig? I prefer Nightingale myself. It feels longer. Is it longer? It is longer. Yeah. It is longer. <laughs> if, you, if you want to do nothing, girl, but it's too dark, too long, do lumps of plum pudding. Yeah. It cuts off or well, gets rid of hucklebacks and the extra side steps. So it's a very, very simple dance lump plum pudding. Slow is identical, push up is identical, the jig is much shorter. It's just to close side steps, follow, yeah, close side steps, follow the galley. Let's do it in Ducklington style as well. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> so, does anyone want to do either Lady's Pleasure or Nothing Girl again? Or are we happy to finish 12 minutes early and have an early lunch? Oh, I'd love to have the ladies' pleasure again now, having been looking at the other one. Thank you. Okay. I, I would quite like to do it again as well, actually. Might cement it a bit, having thought about something else for a few minutes. Hello. Excellent. We'll do that then. Did you want me to call it or did you want me not to call it? No calling? Okay. Ladies' pleasure, Phil Town, for a final time, thank you. <laughs>
everyone. Ace, thank you. That really helped doing it once more. Any other questions regarding Nut and Girl or Ladies Pleasure? I haven't caught their breath yet. I mean. <laughs> you you did some rotating the first time you did Nutting Girl. You did a sort of 360 degree. Then when yeah. we did it in detail, we didn't do that. Was that just saying we did a kind of cut down version we practiced? Hilltown Nutting Girl is on the spot, no, no, no rotation. And in the RTB, the uprights, you turned. I turned to make it a bit more exciting. Otherwise, it's you're always facing one one bit of the audience. We're rotating. You're kind of opening it up to everyone to see. So that rotation is a purely me thing. It's not traditional. It's not how Claude Zenton do it. It's how I do it while at a small dance cell. That would especially with nothing else. Because we're going to be special, we've only got two slows. We can't really do it. We, we can, but it's not look as good. Nothing else yet. So that rotation something I add in to make it a bit different, but it's entirely up to their own dance if they want to do that. Do you ever do it as a double jig? Um, I, I do sometimes, but normally it's, I would be doing it field town when someone else was doing Bampton around me. So while I'm rotating, they're doing their Bampton slows around me. That's why I rotate as well. I follow them around the set. They'll be doing their bouncing papers around me and I'll be following them around. But um, yeah, so I've only ever danced Nuts and Girl as a double jig. Oh, double jig in a sense that multiple people are dancing it. It's not a pure double jig where people are taking it in turns. Nuts and Girl is a, such a long jig anyway. To do it as a proper double jig, I think you'd lose, lose the audience. But yeah, if you're doing as a double jig, confirm with your partner what they're doing and just what they do. Or if you're doing it at the same time as them, and you're doing both doing field town, it would be nice to rotate differently. So one would rotate clockwise, one would rotate anti-clockwise, so you come to meet again. You want to do it that way. But you can, you, yeah, so you can do Nuts and Girl to multiple traditions using the same bass tune. Technically, the tune should change, but you can do it with a, roughly the same bass tune. Right, any last questions? I don't think so. Right. So could you all unmute yourselves and give Owen and Rimini a big round of applause, please? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So if, if people want their own notation just for this jig, let me know and I'll sort something out. That, so that way you've got its own document, similar to what we did with Nothing Girl. But if people are happy just to look up um, Thames Valley, that's an easier solution for probably up online. Um, Why has nobody else got a red face except for me? Am I just that unfit? <laughs> you, you just got the heating on, that's what it is. Some, some of us haven't actually been dancing. We've only been dancing sort of ethereally. I'm sure I would be bright pukes otherwise. <laughs> I'm bright red. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you, Owen, and thank you, Rimini, for standing in. As I don't know, she's a pro well. Are you a professional musician, Rimini? No. No. I've, I've been playing twenty 
One years, so a long time. Long time, yeah. But she doesn't normally play for Morris, so that's a, it's a step up for me. Thank ah. you very much. That's yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much, everyone. And um, very much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.